The pillar of broadcast journalism and a member of the 60 Minutes team here on CBS for almost five decades. Legendary CBS newsman Morley Safer, who announced his retirement just last week, died today. He was 84, and Craig Boswell takes a look at his career. American losses. Morley Safer covered the world for over half a century, and he did it in a way that not only touched lives, it actually changed them. His reporting from Vietnam helped shift the way America thought about the war. And just as the medevac came in, the boy died. He was 17. In 1965, he showed U.S. Marines burning down a village, sending terrified civilians running from their homes. Morley Safer, CBS News, near the village of Cam Nhi. It was a new way of covering war, realistic and bleak. Safer himself was Canadian, but he settled in New York after joining 60 Minutes in 1970. Did you ever hold up anyone? No, sir. In 1983, his report on Linnell Jeter became one of the show's proudest moments. Safer and his team uncovered new evidence showing Jeter had been wrongly convicted of armed robbery in Texas. The report led to Jeter's release from a life sentence. Safer also had a flair for the lighter side. He traveled the world, covering everything from the tango craze in Finland to the British passion for gardening. He documented good food, fine wine, great cars. Awful puns. In one of 60 Minutes' most popular shows, he interviewed the Muppets. I thought 60 Minutes was the high-class show. And he took on the art world twice, first in the 90s, when he questioned the value of modern art. It's a, a, a white rectangle. Right. Then again in 2012. The kitsch, the cute, the clumsy, and the incomprehensible. But Safer himself was an artist. In room service closures, Safer begins. He carried art supplies when he traveled and spent his sleepless hours painting in his many hotel rooms. Over his many years with 60 Minutes. I'm Morley Safer. Safer picked up dozens of the most prestigious awards in journalism. For a man who enjoyed telling stories, he always said there was no better job than the one he had. Craig Boswell, CBS News.